Hey guys, it's Todd again. Uh, I just wanted to give a little tip. So if you've ever gone out and caught your own fiddler crabs or you bought too many and you just, you know, want to keep them for later on, there's always a way to keep your fiddler crabs. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to make sure that you grab some sand or uh, some and some water uh, from where you caught them. So that way they can stay alive and they can stay alive for, um, a few days uh i've had fiddler crabs for a week before and you know they were fine i just made sure i had the water in there the sand i used dog food the only thing about dog food keeping them alive it starts to stink after a while it starts to smell really bad but it did keep the the fiddlers alive you can also um put some uh, little pieces of bread in there or uh some fish but like i said the fish will start to smell so you don't want to do that too much. But what I did today, I went out and caught my own fiddler crabs for tomorrow because I'm going to go on a little trip tomorrow. I'm going to try to catch some sheep's head again. You know, it's my favorite fish right there. And so what I did, I uh, got some fiddler crabs left without getting any water. But there's a way to salvage that. All you have to do is take regular fresh water and for every... Uh, cup of fresh water you put like a pinch of sea, uh, sea salt in there mix it around and then pour it in like a little cup so what i did i took the bottom off of a water bottle that we had and i just stuck it inside the the bucket where i'm keeping them and as soon as i stuck it in there they went straight for it and i just need to have some water just to stay alive and then you just keep them in a cool dry place uh so like i said tomorrow i'm going out so i'm just keeping them overnight uh, these will stay, you know, nice and healthy. You'll know when they start getting uh, ready to die because, you know, fiddlers are, most of them are purple here in the western part of Florida, in Tampa where I'm at. But they'll really start turning real purple and looking pretty sad and ugly when they start to die if you've been out there in the heat for a while. But I'm going to show you what these look like. So as you can see, I have a mix of fiddler crabs mangrove cat crabs and mud crabs that big one there in the corner is a big mud crab so they will stay in that water they'll soak that water up and i'll put some more in there tonight before i go to bed just to make sure that in the morning they're nice and healthy so i hope that little tip helped like i said it it's helped me out in this time and times past so i'm going to continue to do that next time i just have to remember to grab some water while I'm there. Uh, and then you, one more tip. You can also break off some cardboard. So you can, if you don't wanna put sand in there, you can just break off some cardboard, dip it in the, uh, soak it in the, the water. That helps a lot. And it'll, it'll, it'll stay in the uh, cardboard overnight. And that's stuff that they can, you know, munch on as well. So guys, do me a favor, like this video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that way you're notified the next time I post a video. And thanks again for watching. Uh, until next time, guys, remember God loves you. God bless you. May he keep you. Till next time, peace.